morning YouTube. It's the Geeky Minecrafter bringing you another video. In today's episode we're going to finally get some cooked chickens. I know I've said that before and I've had two failed attempts but thanks to an older video that I found from the same guy that did the last farm uh, I found a way it's it's not ideal and I'm still working on the mechanics I cannot figure out why my lava won't flow out and flow back in like it's supposed to but turns out if you have a half slab underneath it uh, you can just put lava in there and it will leave the baby chickens alone and only kill the adult chickens once they've reached that that height so let me jump in here grab some more eggs I've built two and I've enclosed it so what we're gonna do today is build one more inside here I did build it large enough so that I would have room to expand by two more bays. So let's take a look at what we have. Okay, didn't quite close both of them. I haven't done the redstone here. I just wanted to get some doors down. Okay, so let's go upstairs and take a look at what we have. So as you can see, this was the original bay that I started with. I knocked down the other one that I had gotten from Daedalus. Just wasn't doing well. Um, so <clears throat> the redstone on this is pretty simple. The mechanics are really pretty simple. Let me just run this by you so you, so you have it. So inside here is a hopper. On top of a hopper is a half slab. On top of the half slab is lava the back of here is a dispenser. The dispenser is coming from all of these chickens are laying eggs. It's going into a hopper. The hopper's feeding the dispenser. So as these lay, the dispenser shoots them out into this area and because, let's jump down here, because the small chickens are underneath the lava, and see that little opening right there, the chickens shoot out. Occasionally they break and produce another chicken. That little chicken sits in there until it grows up. It grows up and then hits, it gets hit by the lava. So that's the mechanics of it. That's pretty sweet. Um, and I was able to do this one fairly quickly once I, once I understood the mechanics, once I got this in there. So I do have them hopper chained down. See, coming out of the bottom of that chest and hoppering chained down. And they are landing in here. Now I did pull uh, a big stack of chicken and feathers out of here that I had generated while I was building the shell around the buildings. So just being out here, I think it was a day and night, another day, and, and probably most of the next night. So we'll call it two days, two nights. I was able to collect almost 64 chickens out of each chest. So that's a pretty good return on my investment. I'll be able to come in here, of course, once I have some um, some iron doors that they can't open from the outside. I do worry about zombies. I don't want to be AFK in here and not be aware just yet till I get that redstone done. Uh, but once I am, I should be able to come in here and just leave the game running while I go inside and come back to a couple of stacks of chicken. Okay, so I did leave myself another enough room to put one more in here. And although I'm not intending this to be a tutorial, I thought I'd I thought I'd show you my doing that. Uh, like I said, it doesn't take long. So let me go down and get the materials that I need and uh, get set up. We'll, we'll take a moment and do that. So I'm gonna set the eggs down for right now. This is how I'm gonna fill the breeder cells. I don't need any of this right now. I am going to need some cobblestone. Uh, let's see. Cobblestone. I won't need that. And I have all my mechanics over here. So, there's the bucket of lava. I'm going to need some hoppers one comparator. That's what I do like about this design. It is um, it is very resource light. Takes a couple of torches. Uh, does take some redstone. Not 64, but you know, enough. Let's see, I need a chest. 
two trap doors. Uh, what else am I gonna need? Oh yeah, a dispenser. Uh, and about four of these. And a couple of chests. What do I do with my chests? Really? Oh, nope, there's some. Good. Shoo! Thought I was gonna have to go back in the house. There's for the double down here. There's for the single upstairs. And the single upstairs was originally because I was um, working up there and, and that's where everything was coming out. And I have subsequently dis you know, hopper chained down here. But it does give me extra storage. Now let's think a little bit about the storage here. I've got a double chest here. Each one of these represents a stack of 64. I've got a hopper here. Each one of these represents five stacks of 64, so one, two, there's one above that, three, uh, and then then there's a single chest upstairs. So theoretically, I could be AFK for quite a while and collect a, a large number of chickens uh, successfully without having to worry about storage requirements. Okay, so the layout is real simple. It's a block, a block, a chest in the middle. Let's get rid of my food here that okay on the other side on the other side of the chest is one of our hoppers okay a couple more blocks we need a temporary block here this is for the dispenser That's where the eggs are going to flow into. Once they're in here, they'll shoot out. Now, I do I do want to put carpet down. I did discover I get a better, or maybe I should say less of a glitch rate. I did put a piece of carpet on the hopper inside there, and this one over here does not have a piece of carpet. Now, my glitch rate while I was building it, this one, a lot of the chickens would glitch out pretty easily. They did not in this one. So what I may do is pause it right here and go get a carpet. I'll be right back. You know, while I'm here, I thought I'd show you this. My XP farm has been yielding quite a bit of armor. I am collecting it and pulling it over here. These are just the chest plates. These are all the britches. Um, we've got boots in here and helmets in here. So I am loving the XP farm. Uh, I do also have two double chests next door at the XP farm itself. So, I'll be right back. Okay, and welcome back. I did run to the house and get some, um, get some carpet. Now, I'm going to put a half slab here, so I don't need carpet here, but I will need one on the hopper up above, which is the reason for going and doing this. Okay, so uh, connected up here on this dispenser is the hopper that will contain the chickens. I'm going to set right up here, put a little piece of carpet on that. Again, I've just found it helps with the glitching. Uh, they don't get out as easily. So we're just going to wrap this around, create an area where the chickens can't escape. Uh, actually, I got ahead of myself, sorry. So on the back of this, right underneath this, is a, is a block, right here. On top of that block is a comparator, facing away, another temporary block in front of that, with a torch on the side. Nope, I got that one wrong. Okay, so there's a temporary block here. That goes up. There is a torch on here. This block can come out. It doesn't doesn't need to be there. Okay. And then a couple of blocks to give me some temporaries here. Again, I find this easier to do when I can get up on top of it. Let's see. This one, and we don't need this one. 
Or this one. I don't know why I put that there. Okay, there is a block here. With a piece of redstone. Let's see that one. There's a block here. A piece of redstone on top of that. There's a burnout torch here. block on top here this one's temporary actually I'm gonna leave it in because ultimately I like it being in there um, let's go ahead and uh, finish this out so I can get my ladder on so I can get up at the top here there. I will need a piece of uh, redstone right beside this one. Oh, nope, that's wrong. Oh, yeah, I'm missing a block. There we go. Okay. Piece of redstone on top of that. Oh, didn't think that all the way through, did I? Okay, so this is where the chickens are going to be. So here, here, all right, okay. So I'm going to put glass in front there. This can stay open. Uh, this is where the lava will be. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. I, oh, no, no. That's wrong. That's the half slab. Oh, which I left downstairs, of course. Probably along with the glass. Let's see. Half slab, I think, is in here. Nope. There we go. I need uh, just one half slab. Oh, in fact, I can do that out of stone, can I? Okay. Oh. Oh, I remember this. Kind of have to get up on it and point down. There you go. Okay, so believe it or not, that is enough room to shoot those eggs out. I'm not sure how, but it is. I'm not going to argue. A couple pieces of glass right here. Put the lava in right behind there. Let me just make sure I have everything matching up. Uh, looks like that goes there, that goes there. Now one more level and I think we're there. Just barely left enough room for my <laughs> for my chickens right up here, right over, right there, and then one. Oops! Ow on my face. Okay, one more ladder, and then a couple of trap doors and some lava. I think we're there. Um, God willing, and the creek don't rise. This is going to work. So, trap door here. Boy, I probably ought to push this back one, huh? Yeah, in fact, I am going to need to push at least this one back to get the eggs in there. I'm going to need to throw a bunch of eggs. So, I tell you what, let's, um, let's take my silk touch. Ah, on my face again. Let's uh, let's do this. Oh, I'm not sure where that came from. Kind of a mystery. Oh, again, really. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put those glass level with this. I'm not loving it, but I need the room. 
I wasn't thinking this all the way through when I uh, when I started wrapping it. I didn't give myself enough room. So, okay, in here goes lava. Just pour it right there. And in here goes eggs. See if we can't get us some chickens. Now I have discovered I do better when I'm at a certain angle. There's one. Now oddly enough, they do congregate towards the edges. It's like they know there's a hopper underneath them. But they don't glitch out as bad with that carpet there. I, I will tell you, you know, once I completely enclosed it, the glitch rate has reduced substantially. But uh, I am still getting the occasional chicken out here in the <laughs> in the building. So I did leave most of the eggs downstairs. So now that it's built, let me go downstairs and get it. Now, you know, I should probably here I can fill these in in between them so I can walk from hatchery to hatchery. And I think. No, I don't think I have room down there for one more. One could hope. So let me go get some more eggs, and we'll finish filling this in. Oh yeah, let's put a torch right here so we don't get any nasties spawning in on me right in the middle of the... Maybe another one right up here. Okay, so one of my carpets went in there. Let's see, I came down for eggs. I remember what I'm doing now. This, kids, is the difficulty with getting old. You often forget what you're in the middle of doing. <laughs> Tell you what, let's put some of this wood right up here. I'll leave it here for the next project. And some of this. We don't need the rest of this. Do I have any more eggs to pull? See, just since I've been here, we've pulled 14 chickens and 7 feathers, 15 and 9. So, I am going to need my hopper chain down. Let's see, do I still have that? Two chests plus my hoppers. Yep, good. Okay. So, what I did, uh, remember I had done this uh, up here before. So, I'm going to knock a hole in so I can find it put this one in and then I'm gonna have to go downstairs and give myself something to point to in order to build that hopper chain down it won't take won't take much but uh, I will need to build that down okay let's see if we can hatch just a few more chickens how about I pause and then step back in when I've thrown all the eggs okay then I've thrown all the eggs in I have about looks like maybe 28 chickens in this pen. So that's good enough. I can always come back up here with some seeds and breed them uh, you know if I need uh, if I need a bit more. I did fill this in back here. Uh, I should probably make some steps. Make this a little easier to get up and down. Uh, I also did go downstairs while I was down getting more eggs and uh, filled in this little uh, area here that I'm going to need for the hopper chain. So let me show you how that works and then we're gonna call it good. Okay, so I've got a block. I'm sorry, he sounds like he's right here. Let me just make sure he's not. No, okay. Must be under us. Okay, so I have a block that I put right down here. I'm just gonna do a little um, squat. Uh, why is it not? Am I too far down? I think it must be. Okay, so there, there's one, there's the second one. Now I can go downstairs and fill this in. Uh, I will go ahead and cover this. Okay, get rid of um, these two blocks. Actually, now I don't need any of these, so I can get rid of these. Put ourselves a pair of chests right here. I'm gonna have to 
tear one of those chests down, aren't I? And a hopper pointing into it. Okay, so I didn't think this these back chests all the way through. I, I really need to get rid of a couple of them. Uh, but I'll double this up another time. Basically, what's going to happen is when the chest upstairs begins to overflow, it will flow down into here. Uh, actually, before it overflows, it, but I'll have uh, I'll have storage all the way up to that top chest. So, 64 times a double chest plus these um, 10 hoppers, five in each, and we should be good. Okay, so let's let's just recap what we've done. We've got uh, lava in here. Oh, I've got my beginnings of a chicken right in here. See that's shooting the eggs in, and they're starting to hatch. So it won't be long before uh, I start getting chickens out of this cell as well. So I will make a few additional improvements, maybe stairs up so I don't have to uh, fall on my face every time I go down. Um, not going to take that out right now because um, I would have lava flowing in here. And even though it's cobblestone, it might catch this on fire before I got it blocked off. So, I think that's it. This is, uh, this is, you know, third tries to charm. I'll, I'll go with that. It's not ideal. It's not what I wanted initially, but it does work, so I'm not going to complain. The goal is to get cooked chickens, and that's what I'm getting. So, since I'm meeting my goal, I'm going to call it good. This is the Geeky Minecrafter signing out of episode 15 the final successful chicken farm. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, take a moment and hit the like button or let your friends know. Feel free to subscribe to get updates when I put new videos out. So till next time, this is the Geeky Minecrafter signing out. Happy mining!